Hey guys, today I'm doing a video on the inner bark of the cedar tree. That's this tree right in front of us here. And I wanted to show you the separate layers to get to that is the inner bark. It's not just the outside bark here that you can make cordage out of. You need to take that off. You want the inner cordage that's white. And I've already got a piece taken off up here. As you can see, this is white right in here. All up in there. That's the inner bark. The outer bark is right here. This is all that fuzzy stuff that's great for making fires. And then underneath that you have this cambium layer, which is the reddish colored stuff right there. Beneath that is this white. And that's what you want. You want that white inner bark. It makes really strong cordage. I mean it's not gonna there's no comparison to paracord or man-made materials or anything like that. And the best time of the year to get this stuff is probably in the summertime, late spring, summertime, where the sap's flowing, because it just peels right off the tree. Right now it's kind of a pain, but I'm gonna go ahead and take some long strips off, and I'm gonna show you guys how to make cordage out of it. So just keep watching and I'll be right back. Hey guys, after you get this taken off of the tree, it's gonna have some of that outer bark on it still. The best way to get rid of that is to just kind of bend it with your thumb and just kind of go through it like that. That's how I do it and it works really well. And you're still gonna have some on it, but you wanna get as much as you can off. See, it looks pretty good. It's not too bad. It's still pretty strong, so. I've already got a couple of these already processed up for you. But you really wanna, hold on a second, let me cut this part off. You don't want any knots to be on it. If there's any knots, you can just cut those off or go around it. Because those will just kinda make things more difficult. You want to kind of give it a cut right there and just kind of cut it into smaller strips that you can work with and turn into cordage. Like that. Just kind of add it to the pile and I'm going to go soak these in some water for a couple of hours. You don't need to be in there for a long, super long time, but I'm going to come back and show you a, what's called a double wrap. I'll show you how to combine these cord all these little pieces of cordage to make one big piece of cordage too. So just keep watching and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I've got some of this stuff pulled off the tree and in strips. If I have soaked some of it in some water, that's the best way to work with this stuff because it makes it more flexible and it'll work a lot better that way. But what you want to do, you just want to twist it so it'll come over like that. Zoom out there, here we go. You want it to be like that. Then you want to, you see these two strands here. You got the top one and the bottom one. And you can see, I got a little hole right there at the end. But you pinch it right here. With your other hand, you take it, you go away from you. Then with your other finger, you grab the second one, and you pull it up. And you keep doing that all the way through. So you go away, you twist it away, then you grab the bottom one and you pull it up. And you do the same thing with this one. Grab it, pull it up, you twist it, pull it up, you twist it, you pull it up, you twist it, 
twist it, you pull it up. You just keep doing that until you get as far as you, as much cordage as you need. And if you need to combine cordage, say you, you run out, you need more, you just take, hold on a second. You just take a piece separate piece and put it on. I like to put it on the bottom one. Then you just do like you were just doing and just kind of wind it up in or uh, knot it up inside there. Eventually it'll be a part of it. And you want to keep doing that. If you need a hundred feet or so it's going to take you quite a while. Oops, hold on. <laughs> Mess that one up. Just like that. And if you need more, last time you put it on that, that second row, so this time you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna put it on the, the top row. And you want enough in there so that it won't come out. And then just keep doing what you were doing. Pretty simple once you figure out how to do it. And you can do this as much as you want to, make it as long as you want to. You can see this is how much I got so far. I'm gonna to try to get at least five feet of it for you. Then I'll put some uh, pictures up just to let you guys see how strong it is. Remember, you need to keep the best way to use this as cordage is to hydrate it. That means soak it in water, and it's really flexible that way. If you don't, it'll just break up on you. It's no good for anybody if it's just gonna break. And the best time to get this bark is in the summertime and the late spring sometimes early spring depends on how warm it is really whenever the sap's flowing basically but I'll post some pictures up and let you guys see it thanks for watching poor boy hunting reviews subscribe and I'll have more like it thanks a lot guys